Well, good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome to the Jesse and Angela Love, Love Show. Show. Well, today is my birthday officially. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday to you. He's so Happy good. birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday! He is a mess. Oh Angela. my gosh. Um, I had um, a really great weekend. Tanner, go ahead. And despite of some mild difficulties that took place yesterday, but everything went well. And um, I had my cousin from Ohio who had called me today. Her Excuse birthday me. was on Saturday. And our other cousin, her birthday was yesterday. I had already wished her a happy birthday on, on uh, on the, on the show yesterday so from her loving family so um, and then um, many other my cousin's birthday is following next month so um, thank you for um, for my family the love and and the well wishes and hopefully be blessed for many more oh yes <laughs> um, yeah. today's topic um, we got some um, information regarding the the Kingston, Jamaica, where there has been a drug lord who's been there um, stir stirring up mess. He um, he's wanted from um, United States um, for arms and drug trafficking. He have already he this this happened in Kingston, Jamaica, and the greedy West Kingston, um, Mr. Stronghold Christopher Dudas Coke, a Jamaican done he um, he has turned the Tavali neighborhood or Tavali garden neighborhood and other areas into a virtual fortress with trash cans and barbed wire wow. um, he they torched the they had placed the police station in Denam town under heavy firearm from wow. gangsters roaming the street with high-powered guns so they are seriously out there fighting and they just losing it so um, you know they're calling all these um, law-abiding citizens to evacuate the neighborhood to prevent any injuries or any gunshots or anything like that so um, we're praying that everything will go well um, this happened mm -hmm. yesterday and you know they they just tend to be a little bit you know off the chain right now and um, the they had the officer fled the burning station in in Providence, West Kingston, where 2001 standoff between gunmen and security forces killed 25 citizens, civilians, mm -hmm. as well as soldiers in the um, constable. So this happened mm -hmm. in 2001, but this here so far, um, they just have burned the police station. Yeah, it's a like good that. tourist attraction too. Yeah, yeah. they said that a, um, a lot of the tours that supposed to have been um, going there, they t they they're pretty much like telling the United States the can Canadian border and yeah to pretty much like stay away at this oh moment because it is really really bad right now. Let's so, see. So yeah. you know we just have to mm. you know pray for them. There's more to the story because Christopher's father was also a drug lord back in the day. So he took over. Oh, and, the guys you're talking about? Yeah, Christopher Koch. He has so this is a rooted foundation? Yes, yes, it's a rooted foundation. So they not they just didn't start overnight? No, no, so no. So they got tons no. of, uh, tons of uh, firepower. Yes. And I'm sure there should be a lot of underground um, black market yes. to get those things because yes. they de definitely didn't get it from a store. No, no. So they had to get it from there, mm -hmm. the underground market, and they've been, they rooted in that country, Jamaica. Right, right. Jamaica is a place that I wanted to go uh, years ago. And we got plenty of friends that are Jamaican. Well, we know a whole lot of Christian I mean, people that are Jamaican. Yeah, they're um, really nice. I mean, haven't, I haven't been um, to Jamaica. No, I wanted but to I've been to the Bahamas, but I've never been to Jamaica. And yeah. everybody said, you know, try it, you know, check it out. It's beautiful and everything like that. But, you know, unfortunately at this moment, the tourist attraction is not really well to actually set foot at this moment because it is a drug war going on. Yes. Fighting and, you know, 
uh, just don't want nobody to be hurt and, and everything. But yes, Christopher have taken over what his father had left off and now he's became bigger where he has, he's selling marijuana as well as uh, cocaine. Wow. With arm and everything. He is one in New York. I guess we can't go to Jamaica now. Not now. Just like a lot of other places friends. that we want to go, but right they now. They have the good universities there. They have great universities. Oh, okay. They have okay. nice food. Food is Yeah, the delicious. foods are really great, you know. Everything. Beautiful people. Yeah. Just we have the few percentages that's lawless that's well, going to do what they yeah. want to do. Well, that's, yeah. That's, that's the only downfall with that, you know. You know, we, we would like to go to other parts of the, the world, you know, but there's always something going on. But we will one day. We will. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. We still a go. The <laughs> world is the world. It's yeah. Gonna, it's a, it'd be a time. So. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the um, next thing is the message is, do you hear me now? And that's the uh, message from the book of St. Matthews, the 13th chapter. You have three types of situations where one is on the wayside one one is um, in good ground and you have another one that uh, was and I'm gonna cover it this this covered okay the 13th chapter of Matthews mm -hmm. verse 18 we're gonna start here ye therefore or here you all in other words therefore the parable. He always used parables of the sower. The sower is the one that plants the seed. And in, in our case, we're talking about the sower, but we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, and when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one, which is the, the, the adversary, the fallen angel. He'll take and, and catches away that which was sown in his heart. Mm -hmm. So what he does, he snatch away. That's the word snatch, catch mean is to snatch away what anything that you have gotten far as word from the heart, from from your heart. And then not only from your mind, but from your heart. Mm -hmm. So it destroys everything that uh, the Lord has given yeah. you, especially word. Mm -hmm. And it says, it goes on. It says, and catches away that which was sown in his heart. And this is that this is which received by the wayside. It's called the wayside. So you know, people walk. The, the farmer is walking along the wayside, which is a road or a place, and the seeds fall on the wayside. They used in that, you know, in a nice parable sense, uh, the wayside. So this person he received the word, but it's just like somebody, like for instance, you go to church, and the wayside people are there. Right. Exactly. They get the word, and then they go home and let the wicked one take it from them. Right. Because they didn't have understanding. That can be people that's in religion say, "Oh no, this is not Jesus. Is not this and that. Uh, this is not what Jesus is going to do. This is not what. Uh, no." And then they can persuade intelligently persuade them not to uh, do it, right. to to listen to adhere to the word of God. So that's the wayside people. Mm -hmm. And I might jump here and there on there, so bear with me. Um, so verse 20. In the book of Matthew, verse, verse 20. But he that receiveth the seed in a stony place. Now we have the stony places. Right. It might say in different gospels, a rocky place and this and like that. But it still is basically the same. Stony places is the same as he that heareth the word. And a known which with joy receive it. Straight with joy. A nun means straight with joy receive it. it. Verse 21. So they got joy in there and they receive the word. Mm -hmm. They're happy. They go to church and they receive it. Or they receive it from somebody on the street. Right. Evangelism goes around not only in the church, not only through church to church, people evangelize. But you if you see the story of Jesus, he foot.